Hello everybody, today I'm going to make a uh, video on uh, creating a Hirons Boot CD. Uh, for those who don't know, a Hirons Boot CD is a very powerful tool for repairing computers, getting malware out of them, or uh, you know, fixing hard drive issues, uh, you name it. It's basically uh, the Swiss Army knife of, uh, of a tech tool. And the nice thing about the Hirons Boot CD is that it boots uh, by itself uh, independently of the operating system. Of course, you're going to need a CD, uh, CDR, a blank CDR or CDRW, and it has to be um, a 640 or bigger uh, CD. Okay, can't make a CD, boot CD without a CD. So let's go take a look at the software first so you know what we're looking at here. I'm just going to type in Hirons um, boot CD. And this is uh, Windows 7 and Internet Explorer. So I'll go there. Uh, and you see I'm using Google. So the first thing in the uh, Google is the hiring info pages, boot CD, as you can see right here, all in one bootable CD. We're going to go there quickly just to show you all the tools that are on it. And to warn you that this is a very powerful set of tools that if you don't know what you're doing with them can be destructive to your computer. So uh, you know, be very careful with this tool. If you don't know what you're doing with it, uh, I would say play with it on a machine that you don't mind uh, messing up. Uh, if you do know what you're doing it with it, well, then you've got uh, the right video, and you're looking for a, a tool to basically do all these things. Okay, I mean, with this tool, you can remove malware. You can uh, uh, change the password or yeah change the password on Windows uh, you, you know you name it fix your hard drive there's all sorts of issues that uh, and tools on this um, disk that will do that for you again very powerful and uh, can be destructive if you don't use it correctly but if you use it correctly it can save your um, computer in a bad that's in a bad way now uh, I'll leave that to you to look over just showing you what it is next I'm going to show you how to get it and then uh, download. If you if you choo choose that uh, um, search, and uh, you will get to the right page. I'll also put the link for these uh, on the description for you as well, so they're easy to get. So uh, here you are, right off the bat. Uh, download Hirons Boot CD 15.2. Uh, it's on HironsBootCD.org forward slash download. So we're just going to click on that. And it tells you the changes for 15.2, from 15.1, and so on and so forth. It also has a bunch of start download links. Do not click on these. These are advertising, okay? Don't click on those links. Um, basically, 15.2, uh, 15.1 more or less work the same way as far as installing. But what you want to do is scroll down about two-thirds of the way down. And there you'll see the Hirons Boot CD. 15.2 zip. It's a compressed file, so you know, basically, you'll have to uncompress it once you get it. But I'm just going to click on it, and I'm going to save as. I already have a directory on my C drive uh, called Hirons Boot, and I've already actually downloaded it just to save time and 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 uh, um, effort on on your part. I'm, I'm sorry, on my part. Uh, you don't need to watch this download, but it's about 600 and, uh, I don't know, I believe, hold on, it'll tell me exactly, 592 megabytes, so we don't need to go through the download process on that. Just click save on your machine, download it, and, you know, I'm not going to replace it, I just say no, and then I'm going to say uh, cancel here, but you save it, and save it to somewhere where you know where it's going to end up, and then uh, I'm going to, we're going to go on from there, so hit that. Uh, let's go down and into my C folders. Here, C drive, and then to hire his boot. And you'll see here that it says compress zip folder, right? What that means is that you need, you'll need to extract the files in it to make it work. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Um, you could right click it and say extract all, right? That's one way. Uh, another way is just to open up the folder and click on any one of the files, okay? And just click, you know, uh, burn CD. C and hit extract all okay so um, I'm gonna do that and uh, 
basically it'll create a, a, a directory that's not uncompressed and fully functional. So we'll do, we'll do that. And it's going to put it on C, Hirons Boot, Hirons Boot CD. So you can change the name of that if you want, like to uncompressed. You know, if you want. I'm, I'm just going to put a, uh, a U on it so I know what it is. And I'm going to just hit Extract. Um, again, it's a pretty big uh, program, 595 uh, megabytes. Just let it go here. It won't take too long. There we go. And then it takes you right to the correct folder here. You can see that it says 5.2U. So these are, these are the uncompressed files. Now, you'll need to burn this file right here, which is the image file. And as you can see, 609 megabytes. It's pretty big. Um, it's a CD image file. So uh, how do you do that? Really easy. Go up to here to burn CDC. Sorry, burn CDCC. So double click that. Then you get the security warning. Just click run on that. And then you get this utility that helps you burn images. Okay. Now, nice thing about this utility is it'll burn any image. But uh, we're going to tell it to burn just this image. So I'm going to hit click on browse here. And it automatically opens up in the right folder. Uh, and then you'll see that there's a disk image file right here, Hiring Boot CD 15.2. Now, if you're not in the right folder, just navigate up here to the right folder. I guess you, I'll show you here. Uh, it's under my where I originally extracted it, and then another subdirectory, the Hirons Boot CDU. And then there's the image file. Okay, so click on it and then click Open. All right, at this point, you're ready to begin burning. So you got different options here. Uh, you can play with those options if you want, but uh, you know even, you can even choo choose to read, read, verify. What that will do is it'll make sure that uh, the data that is on the image is on the CD, CD, and that takes a little longer. But at least you know you got everything on it. So I'm going to click on that myself. Like I said before, you don't need to. Uh, now I'm going to click on Start. Okay. I don't have a blank disk in my drive, so I have I've mounted a blank disk in my drive. I'm going to close the drive now. Let that spin up, and then click on OK. OK. All right. I'll let this happen, and uh, when it's done, I'll uh, I'll. Uh, pick it up at the uh, at, at the end of the uh, uh, process like I said you don't need to watch this happen and this will happen quicker or slower depending on uh, how fast your uh, DVD or, or CD-ROM burner is okay so um, just let this go and I'll pick it pick it up on the other side alright here's the finished product it says complete uh, this time you'll see that the start button is again high, uh, able to be highlighted or clicked on and close is also on there as an option. Uh, at this point, the only thing left to do is to boot your computer with the uh, CD in the tray and the tray closed. Uh, hopefully, your computer will automatically boot off the CD, but if it does not, I'll show you if, uh, on my HP computer what options you have in order to get past that. Uh, okay, so next step is reboot the computer with the disk in the drive and see if it'll automatically pick it up and boot. Okay, here we are rebooting uh, my computer. There we go. And you can hear the CD spinning up. And there we are. We're into the uh, Hirons Boot CD. There's no timeout on the boot menu, uh, which is a nice feature. Uh, here you just get to choose from whatever you want to run into. Uh, there's, I, I believe, about, I don't know, four or five different... Uh, uh, boot uh, screens in total but uh, as you can see I'm scrolling through them and you can get all the way down to the bottom where you get more and you get the option to reboot or shut down so on and so forth um, so you know like I said it's not a tutorial on a disc itself it's just a tutorial on how to make it and how to boot it and uh, obviously it's worked just fine and uh, it's booting just fine now 
If you have a problem booting up your computer, I'm just going to do this quickly here. I'm just going to reboot and show you how what choices I have as far as uh, choosing uh, what to do. If I hit escape on my boot screen, and actually if you look at the bottom of your boot screen, it normally will tell you along the bottom what will get you into that into a startup menu. Okay, but if I mine's an HP, if I hit escape, I get a list of options. F1 is uh, system information, F2 system diagnostics, so on and so forth. Really, the, the one we really care about is F9. Okay, so F9 will give me the boot device options. So I'm going to do that. So yeah, escape gives you that menu, and then you want to go into the boot options. Okay, so I hit F9 to change the boot order. And there you have, you have an option. Notebook hard drive or internal CD, DVD, ROM. Okay, so uh, of course mine's automatically set to run off the CD, DVD, ROM. Yours may not. Yours may be set to notebook hard drive or USB drive or something else. Just change it to, uh, you know, internal CD, DVD, ROM. And, you, you know, again, you can change this anytime you want. As it says, F10 to buy a setup options, escape to exit. There's all the, uh, all the instructions are right there. So I'm just going to choose that to show you how you would manually choose to boot from the CD. On this computer, other computers it's F2 or Escape or uh, you know F10 or X or Control X. There's also a whole bunch of uh, different options. Usually along the bottom of the screen when you're booting up, it'll give you the options though. So I'm just going to hit that, let it reboot, and show you the uh, disk booting up again. And that's it. That's how you create uh, Hiren's boot CD and boot from it. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.